Hello, boys and girls, men, women, children of YouTube. Welcome to Movie Day. My name is Tremaine Hayhoe. I am your host of today. Today, we are talking about Ad Astra. Got my coffee here. Can't do a movie review without coffee, am I right, you guys? So... Ad Astra stars Brad Pitt, Donald Sutherland, and Tommy Lee Jones, and is a space adventure drama about a man who has to find his father who went on a mission to Neptune and disappeared. They thought he was dead, but then they got a signal and they presume that he may be still alive. So madness ensues when Brad Pitt goes on his journey to find his father in outer space. First off, it was a well-made film. <laughs> That's never a good sign, guys. <laughs> if someone says it was well made, that means everything else pretty much sucked. No, it was it was it was a well made film, uh, it, and it was it captured captured my attention first three quarters of the way, but then towards the end it kind of goes off the deep end. So without spoilers. You know, I'm not gonna spoil this movie at all for you guys. If you watch it on a really big screen, it could be worth it. The opening scene is incredible. It is really cool and it captures your attention really well. And then from there, it just kind of keeps going. Now, let's talk about the positives. Brad Pitt, really well done. He is amazing. He's an amazing actor. You care for him and you care for his character. He's been a man who's committed his whole life to the Space Academy or Space Force. And his, his dad, played by Tommy Lee Jones, was pretty much an OG for space. And he went on this big mission and uh, disappeared. So they get notifications that he could still be alive. Brad Pitt's character still thinks that he's dead, thinks that he's still dead, but he's like, ah, you know what, I'll just, you know, I'll do it for the shits and giggles, basically. And um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I just spilled all over myself. Okay. This is real filmmaking, you guys. Real filmmaking. Uh, so, so Brad Pitt's character is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of side characters, like Donald Sutherland's character is really cool. Well, I wouldn't say he's really cool, but I mean, he's an estranged friend from the dad, and I guess the last contact they had was an argument. So he wasn't exactly on good terms with his dad before he left, but that's besides the point. So let's talk about the bad. So the cons are Brad Pitt has to go from Earth to Mars in order to send a mish, er, in order to record a voice mail, essentially, so they can laser beam it to Neptune. So I'm just thinking like, why can he just record something on Earth so they just send it to Mars and then send it to Neptune, like why did he have to go to Mars to send the message? Like that's the first plot, major plot hole. And then people say like, well, he had to be there in order to send it. It's like, okay, we're, it's, the, it's the future where going to the moon is like going to, from Sacramento to LA, like it's not a big deal. Everyone's commercially fly, you know, used to commercially flying to the moon or to Mars. They could definitely send a message to Mars to send to Neptune. So that was really interesting. There's a couple of elements that go, they go a bit too out there, even for a space movie, you know, which is like, you want it to be at least somewhat of science fiction, and you know, some science fiction, some science fact, or taking science fact and then bringing it into the future, like where will we be decades from now? Or will we be able to go to Mars like we're going to LA or something like that? And that's all cool, I like all that. But ultimately, Ad Astra goes off the deep end and leaves you unsatisfied with the film. The film could have been at least 30 minutes shorter. It it dragged on quite a bit towards the end. And towards the end, I was just like, I don't even really care anymore. And I just wanted it to end. Uh, we're gonna go into spoiler territory. So at Astra, I give a two out of five. Two out of five. It's well made, but poorly executed. The opening scene is really cool, and that's worth watching. So it, it's a bit like Gravity plus Soylent Green plus uh, Blade Runner, which those are all three great movies, but they, he rips, they rip elements from those three movies to make its own unique movie when it's not really that unique. Uh, it's also a little bit like Lost in Space too. Yeah, so, Ultimately, I can't recommend it. Two out of five. Oh, check out the links. I made a movie. It's called Rideshare. 
link in the description. There's also another movie I made, it's called The Bachelor Party. That's on YouTube to stream for free, so go check that out. Thank you guys, and good night. Make every day a movie day. Subscribe, hit all notifications. See you tomorrow, bye.